This right here is a setup that I pretty much never have anymore, because I am constantly on the road as a digital nomad, location independent wherever I want, but that also means that I have to bring everything in a suitcase and carry it to whichever country I am going to. In that, carrying multiple monitors is not really an option right now, because those are kind of heavy. And that meant I had to choose what might be the best option for me. Last year, I was traveling with the U-Perfect O. This year, U-Perfect also sent out the U-Xbox E4, so that I can test and compare it to the U-Perfect O, and you will find a link to the specific review video in the description down below, as well as my video about the U-Perfect O and my one-year review. And now, I also bought myself an iPad Pro, 11-inch model with the keyboard, as well as the Apple Pencil. And that way, I got stuck in this predicament as to what is the right choice to choose on my next travel, what do I want to bring? Spoiler alert, for maybe obvious reasons to you, I will be bringing the iPad Pro and I will be leaving home the monitors because I have so much that the iPad can do which the monitors just cannot do. And this is actually something that I thought about a couple of times throughout the last year while I was traveling with the U-Perfect O, which is a absolutely stunning display with its OLED 4K capabilities, the P3 color space, it's absolutely magnificent to work with for videography and video editing or coding for having your laptop and your screen so that you have more screen real estate to have your project open whilst you're coding and stuff like that. However, I was always thinking, wouldn't it be nice if this monitor was also able to do something when I'm not actually on my computer? And that is basically when I was thinking, couldn't this be a monitor and a tablet? And that's basically why I purchased the iPad. And now, for the last couple of months, I actually have been using both as my options and I've kind of interchanged between the U-Perfect O, the iPad, and the U-Xbox E4 to kind of get a feel for these different monitors and how they work in my day-to-day -day work life. And what I found was actually kind of surprising to me. I absolutely have to say that I love the capabilities of the iPad Pro. The processor is amazingly fast, the typeability of the keyboard is really nice. Having the trackpad and the touch capabilities is actually something that I find quite interesting and I've been using both for the most part. Having the pencil gives me flexibility in all kinds of different creative endeavors, taking notes in the notes app or trying to do something in free form, the new kind of like brainstorming app from Apple. There's so much I can do with just the iPad. And this is the 11 inch model. And I actually love the fact that it's the 11 inch model for being a dedicated iPad. It's just the right size to read something on it, to work a little bit here and there, to answer emails, to maybe write on a document whilst you have a second document open. All of those things are more and more possible with the stage manager features and stuff like that. And it also is an external monitor. Now compare that to the other travel monitors. They are wonderful monitors for what they are. The UX Box E4 with its 18 inch full HD 120 Hertz refresh rate monitor, it just works. It's a nice monitor to have, it's super inexpensive, and it has a massive screen diagonal. So if that's something for you, go for it. It only weighs 0.8 kilograms, and that's probably one of the biggest benefits that you have right there. And then of course you have the U-Perfect O with its 4K high DPI OLED monitor, which can do 60 Hertz, and it's just a gorgeous display, basically rivaling the iPad in sheer display quality and being bigger. And now between these two, that's where actually the predicament kind of started. You have two super elegant monitors. However, one is just simply double the size than the other. Now, this is different, of course, if you take the bigger iPad. However, then you're also carrying that around and the case is bigger, the case is heavier, like all of those things. In this case, if I show this to you, basically when you like compare this, basically you're talking about double the monitor when you go for the U-Perfect O. However, it is not an iPad. So I have found myself whenever I was here and I was working and I was comparing, the U-Perfect O is a nice display. It has a huge display with its 15.4 or something like that inch. It works perfectly and the iPad is a smaller display. However, I found a way to use the pixels and make it so that there is actually a little more to screen to use than just using the default setting 
from macOS, but that's something for another video. And it is an iPad that can just do so much more when it's not an external monitor. And within all of this, the iPad also has this neat little feature that it actually is a monitor for the MacBook right there without being connected in any way. There's no wires, nothing. It is all done with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So that's something as well. So in the end, I am bringing the iPad Pro 11 inch model with me. It just can do so much more, despite this one actually really being tempting. The iPad can do more, it's much more flexible, it is something that can work on its own, and it has an M2 chip in it, so it actually can also crunch some data, work with Lightroom or some video editing. All of that is really possible with this device, and I'm super happy to have made this decision. At the end, it actually also comes down to a rather similar price between these two models. The U-Perfect O is about $900. Depending on the iPad model, you can get an iPad for that price as well, and of course, especially depending on the case that you wrap around the iPad, that might actually be something where it's kind of really close. At the end of the day, and with all that said, I hope this was an informative video for you to kind of like understand the thought process as well as the decisions that went into whether or not an external monitor is a better choice or an iPad. I personally would take the iPad. The screen real estate is not as big. However, it just is its own device and it can do so much more. But the U-Perfect O is a wonderful monitor, and if you want to pick that up, of course, you will find a link down in the description below, as well as to an iPad and the U-Perfect UX Box E4 with videos and reviews and all of these things so that you can make up your own mind. With all that said, have an amazing day. Increase your screen real estate with any of these options, and I will see you in one of my upcoming videos. Ciao, ciao.